So a few people have had difficulty getting past even level 2 on easy in geodefense, so I'm going to show you how to play through this level. I've turned the game volume down so you can hear my annotations of what I'm doing. Now placing your towers is of critical importance in geodefense. Unlike most TD games, you don't want to just throw towers out there willy-nilly. I've placed a laser tower along the long axis there, and you'll watch as it fires, it's hitting three creeps simultaneously. It's worth pointing out that the, the laser tower is most effective when it's hitting three or more creeps at the same time, otherwise you might as well have a blaster tower. Now also look, I placed two blaster towers, and I put them on the inside elbows of turns in the path. If you look at the targeting ring on these, you can see how they keep creeps uh, within their firing radius longer this way than if you'd put them on the outside elbow of a turn. And this is critical to making maximum use of their firepower. Remember, a TD game is all about damage over time or damage per second. And you want to keep these guys within your firing radiuses as much as possible. Also notice that I put the towers right up against the path. That's very important for these kind of towers. And you can use the automatic snapping system to your advantage if you just move very slowly from a volid place up towards the path. And as it becomes too close, it'll just stay where it was. This lets you snug them up against the path very easily. Now pressing there lets me send the next wave early. You'll notice that the laser tower was facing the wrong way to hit a whole bunch of those at one time. Uh, this is by design. You have to be very smart where you place these laser towers and sometimes you have to work in a coordinated fashion. I put another laser tower here to get these guys as they're moving away from me, but I was a little too late, so that's a bit of a mistake. I'm going to sell that one and drop in a blaster tower right at the end. And uh, that saved one life. So you can see that you can even make a mistake here and hopefully still recover. We'll see. I'm down to eight lives at this point. I'm going to lay out some more blaster towers in case some guys get through. But I really like having that laser tower there because it can do some serious damage. I'm going to upgrade that. Not enough money to upgrade the other one anymore. But I can place two. Notice how I press along the path and drag backwards to make sure I'm lining up right with that path. Now I'm hitting a lot of creeps at one time now. The uh, These guys are tougher but they move slower. Put some volume in here now. Just a little. On this level, there's plenty of places to put a lot of these laser towers. If you get them lined up right, you can get a lot of beams overlapping simultaneously, and that's going to be pretty devastating. Upgrading rapidly is important at this point, because they're getting through. And there's a win. Really not that difficult. I hope you enjoyed this, and these techniques will work well on the other levels. Have fun with geodefense, and I'll see you next time.